Gamers and game that's what is going on. My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another video. And now before we get into today's video, I do want to give a special thank you and shout out to Gamago for hooking me up with a Founders Pack to check out Skydome and also two more extra Founders Packs to give away to you guys. If you're interested in winning a Founders Pack for Skydome, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like today's video, leave a comment on your thoughts about the game along with a Twitter handle or email address in the comments for me to contact you below. Keep in mind guys, Skydome is strictly for PC and you'll have to use these Founders Packs on a glyph account so if you don't have a glyph account make sure you have one made and um good luck let's go ahead and talk about skydome so guys skydome is a very very interesting case of game um, i've actually been taking a few days to think about this one before i went ahead and made this video and i actually had a little chat with their um community manager when they reached out to me to cover this game on twitter just about roughly a week or so ago and um, I did bring up, you know, a lot of the points that I'm going to make in today's video to the community manager as well. So they're pretty much aware of my feedback and how I feel about this game already. But I want to talk about that with you guys. So first and foremost, what I like about Skydome is it is a very interesting concept. If you can't tell what you're looking at here, you are looking at a PC exclusive hybrid of a MOBA and tower defense game. Now, I want you to think about everything I said in that sentence and tell me what possibly could be wrong with that scenario. And if you guess it right and what I'm thinking, you'll know because I'll be mentioning it later in the video. But like I said, guys, a strongly unique concept. And the cool thing is about the game, which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the type of person you are. Me, personally, I found this a pretty cool thing because just because, you know, it's something different. There's no direct actual PvP between other players. Now let me explain, when you play Skydome, it's a different type of MOBA. You never actually interact with or fight the other players. Instead, you're using the tower defense mechanics to take on the other players. So for example, when you fight on each side, there's going to be a, a side with four players on one side versus four players on the other. They are split between a wall. This wall is constantly going to spawn minions. You have one tower on your side, they have one tower on their side. The goal is to make things so hectic and difficult for the other for the other team that the minions overrun them and destroy their tower. And not to mention, you can also send attacks of your own using the character's special abilities to knock to knock out, you know, minions and stuff like that on their side or any allies, defenses, or anything that they put up as well. So it has all the regular mechanics, jungling, buffs, and different things like that. And everything you do on your side positive can affect them on their side in a negative way. Like, for example, if your characters are higher leveled, have more attack power, have better buffs, whenever you send an attacking force over to that side or attack them with some type of attack, you'll be doing more damage than they will. And not to mention, some of your attacks can directly hit the other players. So I guess, in a sense, there is a little bit of interaction between um, players in here when it comes to the PvP side of things. But overall, the goal in this game is more so... I'm not even going to say it's about, you know, which team can beat the other. It's more so about whoever makes the better tower defense strategy out of the two teams. Because, like I said, there is interaction where you can interfere with what the other team is doing. But there's not enough to where, you know, you can really impact the game. I think what causes you to win better in this game, or at least from my experience, is how much better you do at tower defense than the other team. Now, like I said, depending on what kind of player you are, this can be a, a good or a bad thing. If I had to blend this game with three genres, I would say it's a mixture of MOBA, definitely, tower defense, and also auto chess. And the reason I say that because, um, yes, you know, your levels and power do matter, but in the end, what only what you're doing on your end is fully in your control. Now, if the team is, you know, that good where they can hold things down and keep their tower safe, it is going to be a struggle for you to win regardless how much force you are putting out on your side. And that's one thing that can be a really intense thing for, you know, matches. And it can also probably be a bit of a turnoff, like I said, depending on what kind of player you are and what kind of PvP experience you are looking for. But regardless, I find the experience unique. It has a bunch of different really cool characters, different classes and, and stuff like that. 
And it really, you know, it, I'm not going to say it brings like a PvE style casual version to MOBAs, but this definitely feels, you know, a lot more relaxed and not as competitive as um, regular MOBAs. Things like Wild Rift or Pokemon Unite and stuff like that. This is definitely, you know, a more relaxed, chill, PvE based kind of kind of thing. Now, like I said, you're versing other players technically, but me, when I play this game, I feel... I feel like it's more of a PvE based game and that's I don't mean that in a bad way whatsoever. It is it is a lot of fun. Now, the thing that scares me about um about this game, like I said, um I would bring this point up later on in the video. I only have one really big concern is it's a very unique and different concept and game ago when they released this, they decided to make it PC only. Now, despite me mostly only covering console MMOs, RPGs, and MOBAs here. When it comes to unique concepts and games like this, a lot of times they tend to get lost in on platforms that are oversaturated with this type of game. Like, PC has a plethora of MOBAs. And MOBAs are one genre that a lot of players are heavily annoyed with right now. Some people, you know, really like them. Like, Pokemon Unite, for example. It had a lot of doubt and a lot of people against it until the game got here and people were, were like oh shit this game's hot but you know it, it took it took a while for people to see that once they got the game in their hands it changed things the problem with this game is they're not putting it into you know a big pool of players hands at all it's strictly pc it's a very unique idea and i think an idea that a lot of people would appreciate more so, I wouldn't even say, you know, exactly MOBA players, but more so people that like tower defense games and auto chess kind of stuff. I think this will appeal to even more than, you know, just typical MOBA players. But MOBA players might even come to enjoy this too. But me personally, that's just how 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 I see it. I think this can appeal to a lot more than just people who like, who like strictly MOBAs. But the only thing that scares me about, like I said, is this game won't get the proper recognition because of its platform limitation. Other than that, it's a really fun game. Very fair microtransaction system. These Founders Packs that I'm giving away, they're actually optional. The game is 100% free to play on Steam. I'll have a link in the description below where you guys can check it out at um at your own at your own pace. But like I said, to use a Founders Pack, you just need a Glyph account to enter the, um, the Founders Pack key. But the game's a lot of fun overall. Me personally, I really enjoyed my time with it i just i hope it can stand the test of time that's my only my only real my only real concern concern about it. i think it's got really cool mechanics it's a different a really different and fun fun play style it's just like i said i hope it can stand the test of time and i really hope the developers and the team behind this game consider putting it on other platforms sooner rather than later but anyway guys let me know how y'all are feeling about the game down in the comments below y'all enjoyed today's video smash that like button and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.